Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this video. I'm Julia. Well, I have a foundation that I would like to put on and see how I like it and share my thoughts with you about it. I included this foundation in my shop mustache for June and I think I picked it up a couple of months ago, but if you'd like to hear my thoughts on it and also see how it works on my medium deep skin, keep watching. Okay guys, so this is the foundation. It is from Urban Decay. It is the Face Bond Foundation. It is a liquid foundation with a natural matte finish. It has a one year shelf life once opened. And I chose this foundation because the hot dog days of summer are approaching. You know, that sticky weather, that humid weather. And to me, that means I want less makeup. So. I'm going to wear less makeup, but there are days that I really want to have on makeup. I want my textured skin to look a little smoother when I'm going out. So I thought I would pick this up. Now listen, I am all for tooting your horn if you can back it up. And Urban Decay claims are enormous for this foundation. For one, it says that it's waterproof for up to 24 hours. Humidity proof lightweight, smudge, and transfer resistant. Also, self-setting and light to medium coverage. Wow, what doesn't it do? <laughs> it's got me curious. Now, I think this foundation appears to be everyone's best friend, or I mean, at least for all skin types. I don't think there's anybody out there who wouldn't want to wear it especially since there is 3% niacinamide in it, or B3, which has skin care benefits, helping to improve the skin texture. I think it says about four weeks you should see a difference in the skin texture. All of that is in this little bottle. I mean, is there a genie inside of here or something? Okay, so I'm going to, um, get busy applying this but first I want to let you know I've put on my sunscreen and let that sit so let's get to it alrighty I put on the Urban Decay this is their all-nighter face primer grip and it feels just like it says lightweight and it also makes my skin feel hydrated so that's nice I've let it sit for a minute and now I want to go into the foundation now here's the foundation package this is what it looks like kind of small right I think it's one fluid ounce in here and uh, I'm going to get busy with it double check on that yep one fluid ounce so this is the foundation like I said and we're going to get busy putting it on at least I am and you're going to watch right okay so Urban Decay says that this foundation can be applied with a sponge a brush or your fingers so if you do it with the sponge, it's a light coverage, medium coverage with the brush, and full coverage with your fingers. Note, now, I want you to know this. This foundation is self-setting, so that means it dries down quickly. And what I think I want to do is start in one area and then work my way to another area. For instance, I'm going to put a little drop here and then work it in. So it looks like it's a good color for me. If I haven't told you, I am in 29 medium deep. So since it dries quickly, because it's self-setting, I'm going to work pretty fast over here with the brush. And I can see where it's sitting right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit more on the brush, as you can see, and work it in here. quick circles. I think this is the quickest way with the brush. It's just little circles. And we can see how much coverage I'll get because I do have that little um, discoloration there. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger and put this much on it and tap it in here 
and start to work it in a circular motion all around. This should give me the full coverage over here. And guys, I should have put the full coverage here because of that discoloration. That went really well into the skin. And it seems like I'm getting some fine breakout over here. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. I think I have a rash, just something. Okay, now I'm going to take the sponge and do the forehead. Put a little on my finger here and here, a little more here, and then a little more there, which I probably shouldn't have done. Let me do the brush real quick here. Finger here because I thought I needed full coverage on the nose. Now this foundation has five intensities and eight shades which equal 40 depths. And again I chose 29 in the foundation and that is the medium deep neutral. And I'm thinking it's looking quite well on my skin. Now I'll go in with the brush up here. And you can tell where it's sat that it really kind of uh, seeped into the skin a little. I mean, it left its mark there, I should say. Just going all over the face with the brush, bringing it down my neck. I really don't see much difference in this side and that side, and I still see that little mark on my nose. It only says that you get full coverage when you use your finger. On the box it does not say that it is a full coverage foundation, so medium coverage is what it claims to be. Okay, guys, I have that on my skin. I'm going to go away and do my eyes and the rest of my face and come back and tell you a little bit more about this lovely foundation. I'm saying lovely. It appears to be lovely, but it's the Urban Decay. This is the face bond. It's supposed to bond to the skin, bond to the face foundation. So let me do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have the foundation on with a little bit of eyeshadow on. I use Urban Decay, my brows, the regular, just LA colors for the brows. And I have on a little bit of blush and lipstick. The blush is from Tarte and it is in Peaceful. Very lightweight looking color, great for spring and summer. That's it there. And for my lips, I have on Urban Decay. I have on Accident, one of my faves or the fave from um, Urban Decay. I love that Urban Decay likes to use metal in its packaging and in its products. So um, they did the same thing with this packaging here. It is beautiful in its little plastic bottle. One ounce, like I said before, it's plastic lightweight and it has a patent pending dropper. I think it's travel friendly so you don't have to worry about it squirting out and getting all over things. Even when you store it in your drawer, you should be safe with that so ease of use definitely transfer resistant let's see it feels good on the skin right now I get minimal on this tissue so that is good and it looks like my pores are kind of smooth out they're not gone I still see them uh, the foundation sits pretty nice over and in it the texture pretty well um, I like that I don't see any oiliness or shininess and if I want sheen, I can add it. Now, let's look at the value for money. Remember that this um, foundation is a trivecta. That means that you have a foundation here, you have a serum here, and you have a powder here. It retails for $40, and again, it has a 12-month shelf life. 
so you get some pretty good use out of it if you choose to. So a foundation alone would average between $16 to $146 on average. And then a serum is about $6 anywhere to $160. And a powder, I'd say you could spend from $6 to $90 for a powder. So tell me, what do you think? Do you think there's value here? I kind of do. I kind of do, especially if you have oily to semi-oily skin and you want to beat the heat with a foundation that dries down matte and gives you coverage, not full coverage, light to medium coverage, and doesn't sink too badly into the pores if you have textured skin, I think this one is good. Um, we'll have to see if it's sweat proof and if it holds up to the humidity. And um, we did get some on the tissue, so we know it's not totally transfer proof, but it is looking good right now. Well guys, if you wanna hear my final thoughts on this foundation and whether or not a genie actually lives in this bottle, please tune in to my July Shop My Stash where I will totally review this foundation then. But until then, I thank you for watching and I hope you will like this video, talk with me about this foundation down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you think it looks on my skin and if it's something that you would pick up or if you have it, what do you think of it? I think it'll be great for summer use. Like I said, I have to get out in these streets and try it on and out, you know, daytime and nighttime to see how it holds up. We get a lot of heat and humidity here in the mid-Atlantic, so yeah, I'm going to be trying it out. Okay, guys, I left some pictures earlier in the video of me wearing it before, so this is my second time with it on my face. It did get a little dewy, but I didn't have on the Urban Decay face grip primer. So we're going to see how that works out. And like I said, I'll report back to you uh, at least by July in the next Shop My Stash so you'll know how this foundation really holds up and if it's worth the money. So long.